So now let's try to learn how to solve the time difference between two locations given that one is at east and one is at west. So problem number one, find the time difference between Hong Kong located at 22.3139 degrees north and 114.1694 degrees east and Dublin, Ireland located at 53.3498 degrees north and 6.2603 degrees west. So step number one, is that you have to know the longitudes of the two locations. And again, quick recap lang, longitude is the imaginary vertical line at the prime meridian where Greenwich, England is located. The prime meridian is defined to be 0 degrees. Now, to the right of the prime meridian is east, while to the left of the prime meridian is west. Okay? So, if this is your world map, this is your prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees. So, this is from 0 to 180 degrees east and this is from 0 to 180 degrees west. Okay? So, Hong Kong is located at 114.1694 degrees east. So, from the prime meridian, you go 114.1694 degrees to the east. So, somewhere along this line is Hong Kong. So, let's say this is Hong Kong. Dublin, Ireland is located at 6.260 degrees west. So, from the prime meridian, you go to 6.260 degrees to the west. So, somewhere along this line is Dublin. So, let's say this is Dublin. Step number two is to get their distance apart in terms of longitude. So, their distance apart is 6.260 degrees plus 114.1694 degrees. That is equal to 120.4297 degrees. And step number 3 is to convert. So, 360 degrees divided by 24 hours in a day, that is 15 degrees per hour. Meaning to say, every 15 degrees is a 1 hour time difference. So, 120.4297 divided by 15 degrees per hour, that is equal to 8.03 hours or 8 hours and 1 minute. So, that is approximately equal to 8 hours. So, we can say that Hong Kong is 8 hours ahead of Dublin, Ireland. So, if 3 a.m. Tuesday at Hong Kong, question, what time is it at Dublin, Ireland? So, you have to move 8 hours counterclockwise since Dublin time is behind Hong Kong time. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it is 7 p.m. Monday at Dublin. Now, let's solve our last problem. Find the time difference between the Philippines, 120 degrees east, and Hawaii. 150 degrees west if it is 1 a.m wednesday in hawaii what time is it in the philippines so step number one is that you have to know the longitudes of the two locations so if this is your world map this is your prime meridian this is the philippines at 120 degrees east and this is hawaii at 150 degrees west so step number two is to get their distance apart in terms of longitude that is distance is equal to 150 plus 120 degrees east that is equal to 270 degrees step number three is to convert 270 degrees divided by 15 degrees per hour that is equal to 18 hours that means to say that the philippines is 18 hours ahead of hawaii so if it is 1 a.m wednesday in hawaii then you have to count 18 hours clockwise since again philippines is 18 hours ahead so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so that is 7 p.m wednesday so if it is 1 a.m wednesday in hawaii then it is 7 p.m wednesday in the philippines now, let's learn how to solve the distance between two locations. Now, let's try to solve a simple problem muna. Tokyo is located at 139 degrees east and 39 degrees north, while Manila is at 121 degrees east and 14 degrees north. Find the distance between the two in nautical miles. So, say for example, this is our world map. This is the prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees, and this is 0 to 180 degrees east. And this is 0 to 180 degrees west. And this is our equator where latitude is 0 degrees. So this is from 0 to 90 degrees north. And this is from 0 to 90 degrees south. So say for example, Tokyo is located at 139 degrees east and 39 degrees north. And Manila is located at 121 degrees east and 14 degrees north. Now let's draw our spherical triangle. 
Now, if I were to redraw this map into a circle, it will look like this. Say this is our prime meridian, this is our equator, Tokyo and Manila, and this is our spherical triangle, where at this point is the North Pole. Now, take note that from the equator to the North Pole is 90 degrees. So, if this is 14 degrees, how much is this? 90 degrees minus 14 degrees, that is equal to 76 degrees. And if this is 90 degrees and this is 39 degrees, how much is this? 90 degrees minus 39 degrees, that is equal to 51 degrees. Now, for this polar angle, this is equal to the difference between the two longitudes. So, that is 139 minus 121 degrees, that is equal to 18 degrees. So, if this is our spherical triangle, 76 degrees, 51 degrees, and 18 degrees, let's assume this is side A, side B, and angle C. So, what we need is to get the side C, which is the distance between Tokyo and Manila. Given two sides and one angle, we can solve side C using the cosine law for sides. So, cosine C is equal to cosine A cos B plus sine A sine B times cosine of angle C. That is cos cosine sin cos. If this is side C, then this right here is our angle C. Then A, B, A, B. So that is cosine C is equal to cos 76 times cos 51 plus sine 76 times sine 51 times cosine of 18 degrees. Okay? Therefore, side C is equal to 29.61 degrees or 29 degrees and 36 minutes. But what we need is in terms of nautical miles, so we still have to convert. And take note class that 1 nautical mile is equal to 1 minute. So we have to convert this to minute. So that is 29 degrees times 60 minutes per degree plus 36 minutes. So that is equal to 1776 minutes or 1776 nautical miles. So in our next example, we will solve the distance between two locations where one is at east and one is at west. Now let's try to solve problems where we have to find the distance between two locations where one is at east and one is at west. So number one, find the distance in nautical miles between Singapore and New York. So if this is our world map, this is the prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees. This is the equator where the latitude is 0 degrees. And this is Singapore at 1.3521 degrees north and 103.8198 degrees east. And this is New York at 40.7128 degrees north and 74.006 degrees west. The distance between them is this much. Now I'm gonna draw a segment from Singapore to the North Pole and New York to the North Pole. So this is our spherical triangle. And if I were to redraw this map into a circle, it will look like this. Say this is our prime meridian and this is our equator, Singapore and New York. And this is our spherical triangle, where at this point is the North Pole. Now take note that from the equator to the North Pole is 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees and this is 40.7128 degrees, then how much is this? That is 90 degrees minus 40.7128 degrees. That is equal to 49.2872 degrees. Next, if this is 90 degrees and this is 1.352, 21 degrees then how much is this that's 90 degrees minus 1.3521 degrees that's equal to 88.6479 degrees and this angle here is simply the sum between the two longitudes so that's 103.8198 degrees plus 74.006 degrees that is equal to 177.8258 degrees so this is our final spherical triangle. If we let this be our side A, side B, and angle C, then what we need to find is side C, which is the distance between New York and Singapore. Given two sides and an angle, we can use the law of cosines for sides to solve for side C. So that is cosine of C is equal to cos A cos B plus sine A sine B cos angle C. Substitute these values in our equation. So solving for C, we get 137.89 degrees or 137 degrees and 53 minutes. 
converting our answer in nautical miles where 1 nautical mile is equal to 1 minute. So that is 137 times 60 plus 53 that is equal to 8273 nautical miles. Okay, so for our last problem, find the distance in nautical miles between San Francisco and Brisbane. So this is our prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees. And this is our equator where latitude is 0 degrees. And this is San Francisco at 37.7749 degrees north. And 122.4194 degrees west. And this is Brisbane at 27.4698 degrees south and 153.0251 degrees east and the distance between them is this segment now i'm gonna draw a segment from san francisco to the north pole and brisbane to the north pole to form our spherical triangle and if i were to redraw this map into a circle it will look like this say this is our prime meridian this is our equator and this is san francisco and brisbane and this is our spherical triangle where at this point is the north pole now take note that from the equator to the north pole is 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees and this is 37.7749 degrees, then how much is this? That is 90 minus 37.7749 degrees that is equal to 52.2251 degrees. And if this is 90 degrees and this is 27.4698, then all in all this is equal to what? This is equal to 117.4698 degrees. And this angle here is equal to the sum of the two longitudes. So that is 122.4194 plus 153.0251. That is equal to 275.4445 degrees. So if this is our spherical triangle, let this be side A, side B, and angle C. So this is side C, which is the distance between San Francisco and Brisbane. And we can solve for side C using the cosine law for sides. That is cosine C is equal to cos A cos B plus sine A sine C cosine angle of C. Substitute our values to our equation. And solving for C, we get 102.46 degrees. Or that is 102 degrees and 28 minutes. And converting our answer to nautical miles where 1 nautical mile is equal to 1 minute. So that is 102 degrees times 60 degrees per minute plus 28 minutes. That is equal to 6148 nautical miles. An airplane flew from Davao City, whose latitude is 14 degrees north and longitude of 121.5 degrees east on a course of 30 degrees west of south and maintaining uniform altitude. At what longitude will the plane cross the equator? So say for example, this is our world map. And this is our prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees. This is the equator where latitude is 0 degrees. And this is Davao City at 14 degrees north and 121.5 degrees east. There is an airplane from Davao City flying at a course of 30 degrees west of south. So that is, if this is north, east, west, and south, so this angle is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees west of south. So your plane is from Davao City. It has a course of 30 degrees west of south and it crossed the equator at a certain point. The question is, what is the longitude of this point? So that is from here to here. Next is, let's draw our spherical triangle. And notice that if we draw a line, from Davao City directly downward to the equator, this angle here is 90 degrees. So I have formed a right spherical triangle. So this is 30 degrees, this is 14 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. Let this be side C, side B, and angle A. So what we need to solve is this side A because our longitude is equal to 121.5 degrees minus A. And since this is a right spherical triangle, we can use the Napier's rule to solve for side A. So draw its body, its legs, its arms, and a big circle. This is C bar, A bar, B bar, then alternating A's and B's, so A, B, A, B. And we know the value of B and angle A. A known side is side A. So as you can see, we can use the Sintan ad rule to solve for A. 
that is sine b is equal to tangent of its adjacents. So that is sine b is equal to tangent of a bar times tangent of a. So sine 14 degrees is equal to tangent of 90 minus 30 times tangent of a. So solving for a, you get 7.95 degrees. Therefore, longitude is equal to 121.5 minus 7.95 degrees that is equal to 113.55 degrees east an airplane flew from manila at a course of 30 degrees east of south maintaining a certain altitude and following a great circle path if its ground speed is 350 knots after how many hours will it cross the equator so say for example this is our world map and this is the prime region where longitude is 0 degrees. This is the equator where the latitude is 0 degrees. And this is Manila at 14 degrees 36 minutes north and 121 degrees and 5 minutes east. There is a plane with a course of 30 degrees east of south. So if this is north, east, west, south, the angle here is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees east of south. So from Manila... The airplane flew with a course of 30 degrees east of south and at a certain point crossed the equator. Question, how much time did it take for the plane to travel from Manila to this point here? So first is you need to get the distance it traveled. So if I were to draw a line from Manila downward to the equator, notice that this here is 90 degrees. So we have formed a right spherical triangle. Where this is 30 degrees and this is 14 degrees 36 minutes. And say for example, this is angle A, this is side B and side A. What we need to get is the value of side C, which is the distance traveled by the airplane. And since this is a right spherical triangle, we can use the Napier's rule. So first is draw the Napier circle. So draw a stick body, its legs, its arms and a big circle. This is C bar, A bar, and B bar. Then alternating A's and B's, so A, B, A, B. And we know the value of B and the value of A bar. And what we need is the value of C. So as you can see, we can use the Sintan ad rule to solve for C. That is, sine of A bar is equal to the tangent of its adjacents. So that is, sine A bar is equal to tangent B times tangent C bar. So sine 90 minus 30 is equal to tangent of 14 degrees and 36 minutes times tangent of C bar. So C bar is equal to 73.26 degrees where C is equal to 90 minus C bar. So that is 90 minus 73.26 degrees. Therefore, C is equal to 16.74 degrees. So this right here is the distance traveled by the airplane. So to solve for the time, we need to use the formula time is equal to distance divided by velocity, where velocity is equal to 350 knots. And take note that one knot is equal to one nautical mile per hour. So 350 knots is equal to 350 nautical miles per hour. So this is our velocity. So for our distance traveled, let's convert it to nautical miles. So, 1 nautical mile is equal to 1 minute. So, 16.74 degrees is equal to 16 degrees and 44 minutes. Therefore, that is 16 degrees times 60 degrees per minute plus 44 minutes. That is equal to 1,004 minutes or 1,004 nautical miles. Last is that time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So that is equal to 1,004 nautical miles divided by 350 nautical miles per hour. So cancel yung nautical miles and solving for time, we get 2.87 hours.